Hello everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I tried to do this video um, as a standard set down, show you the products video um, and talk it out. However, with most things around here that did not go as planned because there are kittens and cats everywhere. So we are just gonna wing it. Um, and go through the products. Um, I will say that we're gonna have lots of kitten guests. I will try to introduce them as they appear. Um, it will be informal now. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go through the products. And uh, this video is not sponsored. Uh, I We've really, really used everything that I'm going to talk about. I also think that no matter whether you have cats or kittens, you foster or own, you should have a variation of every single one of these things. Um, maybe not the exact product, but some variant of everything I'm going to talk about. Not only will it make your kitty happier, but it will make your life easier as well. So we'll get started on some fun things. The first are toys. All cats need toys. They need the enrichment. They need to hunt. And this is their way of hunting. Um, and my favorite, absolute favorite toy, and has been for several years, is what we call the Tower of Tracks. Oh, hello. Hello. This is Marigold. Hi, Marigold. The Tower of Tracks. Um, is a brand name. It's this one right here, but there are many many variations and all it is Is a track with balls on it and they love it cats of all ages um, Really really enjoy this. I have had people tell me their senior cats play with these um, I send one of these home with almost every adoption. I promise you I gave away at least 30 to 40 of these in 2020 to my adopters. That's how much I love these toys. Um, and then, this will not be a specific toy um, brand, but I think every cat and kitten should have a tunnel of some sort. This is one of my favorites. Um, I have another one that makes the whole circle that has a bed in the middle. Um, they come in all shapes. Hello, my love. They come in, hello, and this is Zelda. Can you say hi, Zelda? They come in all shapes and sizes. Um, another favorite of mine is there is a three-way tunnel that has a hole in the middle. They love that. And there's also a toy pack that contains a smaller tunnel and a whole bunch of other toys that we use quite often around here. And even though the tunnel is smaller, it's shorter, my big cats, like Figlet, um, really enjoy it. They just love tunnels. It gives them a chance to hide and pop out. They can run through and play. Um, they just really, really enjoy it. So now on to more, not as fun, but needed things are a heat source. Now, I know that, especially if you don't foster and you have a cat, you may not think about this kind of thing, but cats really, really like warmth and it helps them in so many ways. Kittens can't control their body temperature, senior cats, it helps with arthritis, even, you know, healthy, normal adult cats. If you put a heating source of some sort down, I promise they will gravitate towards that. Um, I think it's really important that everybody has one. Um, my favorite brands that make heating pads are K&H. They have all kinds, but the K&H I really like because you can kind of plug them in and forget about them. They don't have like heat levels. They don't automatically shut off. And they're so low in heat, when you feel them, you really can't even tell they're on, but the cats will, I promise. Uh, that, like I said, they will gravitate. Hi, Timber. This is Timber. Hi. 
Um, so it really is, I think, a great thing to have a heat source. And then to go with the comfort of a heat source is a bed. There are a million, million kinds of beds, but all cats should have one. <laughs> all kittens, all cats. Um, kittens really prefer like covered beds, like TP style or, you know, I call them triangle beds. They have a cover. Uh, big cats generally prefer these type of beds. Um, they come in all price points. They ha come in all shapes and sizes. They have crochet beds. They have um, the fluffy, poofy beds. Look, see, Fig loves them. Oh, huh, Figly. Uh, but all cats love beds, don't you? Okay, now on to health. There are two products that I really, really started using this year um, that I have, I can tell a huge difference in the health of my cat. Is that so nice? Are you gonna make biscuits? Okay, um, the first one is called NutriCow. It's Tomlin NutriCow. They do have other types of these um, nutrition gels. However, I, and I've tried a lot, a lot of them. This to me is the best. It is a paste, but you can add like two drops of warm water to it and stir and it will become a liquid, which you can syringe. You can also add this to food. You can add it to their drinking water. You can add it to baby food. Um, it does have a nice flavor. Some of the kittens and the cats will just eat it off your finger. Um, I think it's, you know, mainly a tuna flavor, so if your cats like fish. But I give this at least once a week to my healthy cats. And then to my sick cats and kittens, they get this at least daily. It depends on their level of health. But I even give this to my grown, healthy adult cats. Oh, hi, Aslan. Hi, Aslan. Hi. Say hello. Is she gonna come visit, or he come visit you? Um, so I really, really do uh, recommend NutriCal. The next is, it's a random one, but it is really important, and that is parasite prevention. There are all kinds of parasites, um, and I just have this for an example. This is called ProFender. And this is a topical dewormer. It deworms both roundworms and tapeworms. Most people don't realize that those are two separate dewormers. They're, um, but you can get products with the two dewormers in them. And the easiest way to do that is with a topical. And a lot of times you will have to talk to your vet about what they recommend. Uh, but my favorite for the deworming is Profender. You also should have, well, and with the dewormer, I know that a lot of people are, say, well, my cats are indoor cats only. Um, they don't go outside, why should I deworm? I personally recommend, and so does my vet, and you can talk to your vet about this, once a year to deworm your cat. You can bring fleas inside your home, uh, which will inevitably, cause tapeworms. Um, you track in, especially like on rainy day, mud and all this stuff that has, you know, who knows what. And we all know cats and kittens, they love to play with the leaves that come in and the mud that comes in. And I really do think it is the best thing for your cat's health to deworm them once a year. Um, and the other thing is flea tick prevention. They have topicals that do this. They have shots now you can get at the vet that do this. Um, but fleas are really dangerous um, to your cat and kitten's health, especially your kitten's health. It, hi, honey. Um, so, you know, take care of that. They, they need to be on some kind of preventative. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a carrier. I am always, always shocked 
at how many people don't realize they need a carrier for their cat. Um, I, I don't understand it. Now, if your cat travels on a leash really well, or you know, you can carry your cat to the car, great, that's wonderful, but you still need a carrier. If your cat gets sick and can't walk, if you know, you're gonna have construction people in your house and you don't want them to get out, you put your cat in a carrier. You can train your cats to love their carriers. All my cats and kittens have a carrier in whatever room they're fostering in. They get used to it, they love it. These are my favorites. Um, they are top loaders to where they open on the top and they open from the front. Just makes life easier. But every cat parent should have a carrier. Even if it's just the mesh, you know, bag carrier. All right, and I'll get off my soapbox on that, but it does shock me how many people have cats and not carriers. Um, the next one is probably the only one on the list that you don't have to have, but it is a personal favorite of mine, and that is a litter genie. Um, I didn't want to carry the litter genie in here, so I just brought the refills, but the litter genie honestly changed my life. It makes scooping litter and keeping litter contain you know um so much easier it cuts down on the smell it i mean it is just wonderful uh if you have been thinking about it i highly recommend it litter genies really are a game changer okay and the last two is a cat scratcher no one likes their cat scratching their furniture. Um, that's one of the biggest complaints I probably hear, besides not using the litter box well, is cats scratching furniture. Cats, kittens. Hello, Aslan. Hello. Um, you can prevent this, or you can help prevent this, by getting them different kind of cat scratchers. They have the little cardboard. Oh, do you want me to move that so you can play? They have the little cardboard scratchers um, that are really good, especially if you like foster because they're inexpensive and you can throw them away in between litters or you can send one home with them when they're adopted. This one here is my absolute favorite um, by far, hands down, of what I call permanent scratchers. <laughs> oh, can you not get in? Because they love them. Cats of all ages. There's like a tunnel they can hide in. There is a um, scoop they can lay in. It comes with a feather attached. Look, they have already gotten stuff on the floor. Y'all are so messy. You're so messy. Um, it does come with a feather attached. However, the feather won't last forever, but that's okay. And that's okay. Yes, especially with kittens, because, you know, they're rough with anything. But I highly, highly recommend you have multiple types of scratchers. And I, this one is by far my favorite. It can be sanitized. It lasts a really long time. Um, and they love it. There are so many things that they can do with it because of the shape of it. And the very last thing that I think, personally, all cat households should have, um, and this is another big thing with me because a lot of people do not have them, is some kind of cat tree. Cat trees are important for so many reasons. One, they have scratchers already built into them. Two, they let allow your cat or kitten to get up high and not on your furniture, which a lot of people, like I don't care, my cats and kittens go everywhere, but a lot of people don't like that. It allows them to get up high, to feel safer, to practice their hunting skills. It they just they're so enriching and there's so many different kinds. They come small, like this little one. This is a small one. I wasn't carrying my big ones in here. But then they have some that go all the way to the ceiling. Um you will just have to do your research on which one would fit best in your household. I recommend making sure the base is really sturdy or you attach it to the wall. Um, you get the proper size for your cat. If you have big cats, look into getting a big cat tree. If you have kittens, these little ones work great. 
Um, they have some with enrichment things attached to them. Um, it really is a good investment. And cat trees aren't near, you know, as expensive as they used to be. And they have, you know, if you watch, they have sales on them. They, I don't know. I just really feel like it's important for your cat's mental and physical well-being to have something like this that they can play on. And that is my top 10 things that all kitten cat households should have. Isn't it? Think cooks big and you say goodbye. I also am putting links to different, um, all these things, but you know, different um, ideas of different kinds of these things. Uh, Cause I didn't want to carry everything out into the living room. They will be in the description. And I hope everyone continues to have a nice, safe holiday season. Thank you for watching.